Welcome friends, let's solve the following equation. So dy dt is equal to ay minus b. All right, so you can plug in your a and b. So I'm going to proceed as by doing dy dt is equal to a and then y minus b over a. Now this is allowed because when you factor an a out from y, that's easy. But then from here, you got to put an a in the bottom. So if you brought this a on the outside back across, it would give ay minus b back. So you got to cancel with the a in the bottom. Then separate us into dy over y minus b over a is equal to a with the dt. So separate, put the different variables on the two different sides, and then anti-differentiate. So dy over y minus b over a is equal here to a dt. And then also do the same thing over here. You can put the a on the outside and then dt in this position. Anti-differentiating the left side will give us ln of the following y minus b over a on the right side is going to be at plus c exponentiate both sides so it's going to be e raised to the ln of the absolute value here of y minus b over a is equal to e raised to the at plus c so exponentiate on the left side e and ln are inverse functions they cancel off so you're going to have absolute value of y minus b over a is equal to e to the at times e to the c so separate into different factors on the right side by the basic rules of exponents now drop the bars so y minus b over a but then when you do that you got to make sure you put by plus or minus e to the c usually you put that first and then e raised to the at this plus or minus e to the c you can just call a new constant it is just a constant c so that means continuing over here across the top, I'm going to have y minus b over a is equal to big C now, e raised to the at, and move that over to negative b over a, so y would be equal to c e raised to the at plus b over a. Now let's apply some initial conditions. So say y of 0 is equal to y sub 0, some initial value of y at t equals 0. So 0 t equals 0 is this quantity. So plug it in, it's going to be y sub 0 is equal to c e raised to the whatever a is times t is zero now and then plus the b over the a so now just move so it's going to be y sub zero minus b over a is equal to c now e to the a times zero is zero and e to the zero is one so this is just c in other words that tells us that with a specific initial condition applied we have y is equal to y sub zero minus b over a e raised to the a t plus b over a that solves the equation for the specific condition y of zero is equal to y sub zero receive a like